Hey, how's it going guys? Shaq and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're going to be doing a $1,000 complete laptop setup. And this is, is it. it. Believe it or not, everything is in here and it comes with a second screen. So you have dual monitors on the go. But before we unbox this full setup, let's hear a word from today's spot. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group. Team Group delivers some of the best value for money PC parts out there. We love their Delta RGB memory coming in at speeds of up to 3600 megahertz and capacities up to 64 gigabytes while not breaking the bank and having that beautiful RGB. They also have the Vulcan G SSD lineup with capacities up to one terabyte and competitive read write speeds around 500 megabytes per second. They are also hosting an online launch event starting on September 22nd where they will be showcasing their new creator brand and also giving away a $3,000 creator PC featuring an i9-10900K. Be sure to check the link in the description down below because you don't want to miss that. We use Team Group parts in a majority of our PC builds and so should you. Check the link in the description down below to learn more and special thanks again to Team Group for sponsoring today's video. So yes, you heard us right, for $1,000, this is completely portable. Everything that we have for this setup is in this laptop bag. So that means you get dual monitors, you get your keyboard, you get your mouse, you get a webcam technically, you get the actual laptop. It has gaming performance packed in. You have your charger, you even have a mouse pad to go with it. So what we're gonna do is show you how this setup would work. We're going to open it up, set everything up on our desk, and then run it through its paces and some gaming. We're actually very excited to see some of the benchmarks of this laptop. It's a really good value right now on the market. So how about we not waste any more time and uh, set this setup up. The boss just called, uh, I'm at a local Starbucks right now, so gotta get some work done, maybe do some gaming on the side, so we'll go ahead and uh, connect to Starbucks Wi-Fi once we get our old laptop out, but the first thing we have here is the Logitech G305. This is a wireless gaming mouse, but you can use it for everything. It does have two macros on the side, DPI switch, a nice textured scroll wheel, and it's wireless. You get really good charge times on this as well. The battery lasts like forever on these, so that's really awesome. So of course, with every good laptop, you have a good charger. So, you know, we gotta have that so that the laptop can stay alive. We're just gonna go ahead and put that on the ground because we're gonna need to plug it in. We have our nice portable, which is now very folded up and a little bit crazy, but hey, it is a mouse pad and it's gonna work. You really don't even have to have this. I mean, technically, if you're on a good enough table, you'd be good to go with just you know the table surface, but we're trying to be gamers here and we're gonna be having dual monitors, so we want the best tracking possible. So along with the monitor we were telling you guys about, we have some cables that go with the portable monitor, which we actually put the portable monitor in with the laptop because, well, this portable monitor just so happens to be the same size as the actual laptop screen itself. So to get the portable monitor out, we just simply slide it out and voila. What's cool is the actual carrying case for this monitor also acts as a stand as well, as well as a protective case. So now that we've shown you guys basically the peripherals, which you really don't need a ton for a laptop because a laptop is, well, a whole computer in itself, we have the actual laptop. So we have this beautiful Asus Tough gaming laptop, which it really does look like a gaming laptop. We actually paid $750 for it, but it is now, I think about $849 on Amazon, so it's probably gonna fluctuate in price. We have the Ryzen 4600H, which is a six core, 12 threaded processor, and it's fourth gen, which is really awesome. We have a 1650. We have 16 gigs at 3000 megahertz because this originally comes with eight, but we included in the budget for $30, you can get a 3000 stick that is very easy to upgrade. Of course, it does slightly lower your speed from 3200 to 3000, but hey, not a big difference. And we know how we like to go dual channel so that we get the maximum performance. We also have a 512 gig NVMe SSD, and you can actually upgrade this with more storage. It just has a lot of upgradability and expansion on it, but I mean, this thing is just a beautiful laptop. We have a really nice looking WSD layout. This does actually have an RGB keyboard, which really surprised me for the price. And to top everything off, they actually surprised us. We did not even know, oh, it's over here. 144 hertz screen. I was very surprised. We honestly did not even see that. 15.6 inch, 1080p, 144 hertz. You cannot beat that. And it, I think we're really gonna be able to get 144 FPS if you think so, Matt. I think so. Matt thinks so, Matt thinks so. And honestly, just like 144 FPS, this shirt can run at 240 FPS hertz. You know, whatever. But anyways, go check out our merch down in the description down below because we are having some new designs come out. And if you wanna get some really awesome merch, we'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get this thing fully set up and let's test it in some games. Okay, so the first game that we have pulled up is Doom Eternal. We wanted to play Valorant, but sadly the launcher was being very dumb. Long story short though, Valorant would probably run at like 200 FPS almost on this PC. 
But right now we're playing on ultra settings because sadly we could not do the higher ones because well, VRAM kind of limited us back a little bit. We only have four gigs to work with and they literally will not even let you do um, Nightmare or anything above Ultra if you don't have more than four gigs of VRAM. And it looks like we're we're maintaining a, around, 50, around 60 FPS, I'd say about average. So it's pretty respectable for a laptop at this price range. Let's kill some undead. Where they at? I think this is where like, you left off, where like, you killed everyone. Oh, I, oh, I have to yeah. move. Do I have more weapons? That's a good question. Speaking of. All right, let's get some action, boy. Oh yeah, I could, I could feel it. How do I, how do I do? F, 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 F. E, 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 E. <laughs> yes. Kill yes, them all. Yes, the violence. All right, but she's, uh, she's maintaining pretty well. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily the, you know, crazy 144 we might be going for, but hey, 60 is running quite nicely. So as you guys can see, you have the second monitor plugged up and ready to go. If you want to have things like YouTube videos up and running, Jackson's over there slaying people, which is not even giving a damn right now. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have like videos playing Twitch stream, or maybe you're working on editing a video and you have Premiere uh, spanned across these two uh, monitors, you could definitely do that with this setup. Um, and yeah, is he, is he gonna die? I might die. Is he gonna die? This thing just won't die. Yeah, the 1650 is still a pretty capable GPU. Yeah, it's not the highest end for a laptop like this, but it, when you can actually get it at $750, you definitely would have a really high-end system for things like Valorant to play at 144 FPS. These games are definitely more demanding, especially VRAM requirements, so you might not get those numbers there. Uh, but hey, I mean, it's performing pretty solid. I can't complain. All right, guys, that was Doom. Let's go ahead and test another game real quick. All right, guys, little do you know, this is the third time we've done this, but we're gonna play some Warzone here on medium high settings on the Battle Royale mode in solos. Let's queue up, not waste any more time and show you all some gameplay footage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to dive into some Warzone and get some better footage than I did before. We are all cooked up and ready to go, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, we are dropping in now, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind, we do have the wrong GPU on MSI Afterburner pulled up, so if you see that 10% usage, because we're probably on the integrated C uh, GPU, so apologize for that. But we're gonna dive in real quick, and uh, yeah, I mean, as long as we get over 60 FPS on this setup, I mean, I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, Warzone is definitely a harder game to run than most, so we're gonna run through and uh, try to get some content. I hear feet, Dude, but I don't right trust below. the sounds. Or above you. I have no idea where this audio is coming from. I'm scared to go in here. Oh, <laughs> hello? Of course he was hiding up there. Oh no, he just followed me. Look at him trailing me. Oh yeah, dude, he was like crouch falling. Like he was Shake waiting. Shake my head, the benefit of not having headphones. All right, you know what? We get wins in the gulag. That's all you need, right? Gulag wins. That's all we need, right guys? All right, here we go. Where is he? Oh. That was very disappointing, but hey, I got a kill. We get to go back in for a minute and die. <laughs> I tried. I just had to try it, guys. Okay, you see Warzone runs on it. It works. Had to do what I had to do. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test another game that you all just so love. Guys, the last game we are going to be testing is a good old Fortnite. We're going to dive into a solo match on Pro Settings, which is Epic View Distance, everything else on low, and uh, give it a shot and see what kind of frame rate we can get. Did you say Fortnite? Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite! <laughs> All right, you cool cats and kittens, we're going to play some Fortnite. Uh, we're going to hot drop here, um, and then we're going to see if I can get a kill. Very unlikely, but we're going to try our best. So looks like we are settling around 100 FPS here and there. We are getting some dips, so... Um, for pro settings, I mean, on a game like Fortnite, it is very CPU dependent, so I don't know. I mean, it's doing pretty good. We'll land here and see what we can get after we settle down for a second. Frame rate is over 100 now, more often than not, so that's a good sign. Is it a good sign for me getting a kill? I don't know. You must thirst for blood. Oh, I got him. Is it actually a bot? That's not a bot. Oh, let's go, oh seven HP. Gosh. I did it to him, guys. I got a kill. Oh, that's another bot. What the hell? 
<laughs> okay. Wait, I, just, I, mean, I just got shotgunned. It seems like um, very poorly. <laughs> I have, okay, sure, that's fine. But hey, look at that, guys. Fortnite, 100 plus FPS when you land it. I got a kill. That's really hard to do for me. So how about we go ahead and actually do a streaming test real quick? We're going to load up OBS, do a local recording, just to show you guys that this setup is actually capable for doing some streaming on the go. All right, guys, so this is just a quick test of local recording, which will be kind of similar using the NVENC encoder if you were to live stream on this setup. We are using the built-in webcam and microphone, so if you do hear a lot of background echo, apologize for that. But we just want to test everything in like one go because people are probably curious what the webcam looks like, what the microphone sounds like, things like that. Um, but what we're gonna do is just drop in here real quick, run around a little bit, and just give you all a decent idea of what it looks like if you were to stream on this setup. Um, I'll let Jackson take over in a second and I'll show you guys what this setup actually looks like from a camera point of view. Uh, you can see that we are streaming right now, and then we have a behind the scenes look at everything that's going on here. Uh, but it does look like it's recording pretty smoothly. There might be some stutters here and there because again, guys, this is a budget laptop. It's not designed for streaming, but we just want to see with a portable uh, monitor like this, if you could actually have a streaming setup on the go, that kind of works. So um, let's see if we can find somebody. Oh, am I getting shot at? I think I am. I don't know where those shots came from, but uh, I assume I am. Uh, but yeah, this is not a bad little setup for portable streaming. As far as just being able, like, just first impressions looking at this, it actually looks pretty solid. Uh, this monitor would be great for an OBS preview um, if you're doing any sort of recording, uh, especially like console recording too. You could do something like that. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too shabby. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, this laptop setup is fully functional. And on top of that, Matt even played Fortnite and actually streamed it with our dual monitors, just showing how fully functional this actual setup is. And on top of that, the whole point of this video is to show that this thing is fully portable. You could go to Starbucks and use their Wi-Fi and stream Fortnite, although it'd probably suck because, well, Starbucks Wi-Fi. But long story short, if you need to multitask, you need to do some video editing, some Photoshop work, some rendering projects on the go with this 4600H, which is a true six core 12 threaded processor and it's fourth gen, so it's completely up to date and totally new. You could totally do that, which is just insane and blows our minds. So yeah, overall having everything in such a small package, as you can tell, we're just easily packaging it all up, plopping it in here, ready to go. Let's put the laptop in, you can zip this thing up and yeah, that's about it. That's all you really need to do. And it's not super heavy, it's not super obnoxious, only a couple cables and look, you zip it up, ready to go. Of course, if you wanted to, you could offer something like a backpack that would also work as well if you wanna have an actual backpack, but you just want a bag that's pretty easy to go, has a strap if you wanna use it, which we really didn't talk about the bag much at the beginning of the video, Look at that, I'm modeling. That's true, I don't think we ever even mentioned the bag. This, this is, the is bag. a Tagear bag. We only got it because it looked like one of the bigger bags is really cheap on Amazon. All the links in the description down below will be accurate and their affiliate links, so they do help us. We might have a couple of different laptops linked because this one for some reason has gone up and it's also starting to seem like it might be kind of thin. There was only four left in stock last time I checked, but there's all kinds of laptops you could use with this specific setup interchangeably because well, the mouse pad, the actual lapel monitor and like all the other stuff is really easy to find. Just the laptops might not be. So overall, very impressed with the setup. This was kind of a creative idea we came up with because we like doing these full setups for you guys and you all really liked our laptop setup. So we thought might as well do a portable setup to show a on the go use case for someone who works or just wants to play on the go. So we hope you guys enjoyed today Today's video. Don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. He's, he's Off taking, to work. He's going home. Off to work.